Welcome to beautiful Iceland, the land of fire and ice, home to beautiful nature and an adventurer's dreamland. Here, the ever-changing landscape is shaped by violent forces deep below the surface, a force that creates and destroys, astounds and terrifies, a force buried deep in mystery and awe, volcanoes. We begin our adventure after a 20-minute drive outside of Reykjavik at the Blue Mountain Ski Area. From there, we depart along the moderate difficulty trail. Along the hike over the massive lava field, we will see other nearby volcanic cones and lava tubes, some that have collapsed over the ages. After about an hour, we will reach Nuka Giger, a dormant volcano that was last active over 4,000 years ago. While there may not be lava flowing, Nuka Giger continues to amaze tourists for its rare feature. It is the only known volcano in the world you can go inside. Visitors are lowered 213 meters, 699 feet, into the earth into a massive cavern that occupies 3,270 square meters, or 35,200 square feet. This rare opportunity allows visitors to see the world from the view of a volcano, and today we are among those visitors. We have arrived, and our journey begins. We're about to head down. You ready? Yep. <laughs> So, just watch your hands around the red tape here, please. And we're about to set off. Go slowly at first. Fullness Ready? Off, yeah. Off, we go. Ooh. <laughs> Slow and steady. See you. See you later. <laughs> you ready for the fastest feet, guys? Go for it. Let's do the fastest feet. One more. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Holy cow. So guys, it's, uh, it's quite narrow here at the top, the, uh, the hole, basically. So uh, that's why we have these nice wheels on the outside. So they will bounce off the wall a little bit. You can just hold on to the rails, that's perfectly okay. okay. <laughs> oh wow. Just where we are now guys, you see the difference between the uh, porous rock on the top here and the solid here? Yeah. This is where the old ground used to be. Oh. So the ground basically just split open and uh, started erupting. Wow. So now you can say you're traveling back to time, seeing older layers of, of Iceland. Look 
over there, you see this uh, kind of lava slide. Uh, yeah. It actually used to be uh, a parallel eruption line. And uh, the one that we are going through is obviously open, but this one is solidified at the top. Yeah. Huh. Wow. And having an opening into a volcano is basically what is unique about this place. There's no other place known to humans on Earth like this. And there are caves and those sort of things, but none of those are literally an opening into a volcano. Holy cow. That is cool. Yes. <laughs> and the colors you see are uh, uh, minerals, basically almost painted onto the wall here. iron and then uh, some green colors which is copper and a bit of uh, silica which is white we are soon down yes oh that's incredible So when you get out of the lift guys, just watch your step and uh, take good care when you're walking around down here because uh, there's no, like, mm. no straight lines down here yeah. and uh, your mind basically always searches for your eye, searches for uh, straight lines to balance, like your horizon when you're walking. So uh, take it there when you're walking around. <laughs> wow. Welcome. Wow. That's the word. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, I don't even know if there are words, man. <laughs> you better know? Oh. Yes, I did it. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Alright guys. Alright, let's walk straight over to the And you guys can go ahead back to the left. Yes, thank you very much for everything. Can I turn off your light? Oops. those came to be so after the eruption during the cooling stages gases were being released and with uh, with those gases minerals coated the walls so each color has a corresponding mineral red is iron oxide <laughs> green is copper and yellow is sulfur you can see the purple is the iron mixing with the copper and like I said on the walk here in this type of eruption or this type of volcano more specifically when the magma gets drained through the bottom the walls usually collapse in themselves, which didn't happen with this one. 
um, but there was still some rock fall forming the bottom that we're standing on. So the magma chamber is way, way further deeper down than here. So we're not even halfway down to the magma chamber. Um, and there, so the rock fall sh happened shortly after the eruption came to an end. And when I say shortly, I mean about 100 years or so after. And um, so you can see the entire volcano is made up of black basalt. And those black patches that you see, that's where you can kind of tell where some of the rocks were chipped from the walls, which are strewn around in this area. Because of the backing of it, it's just, it's just pure black basalt. So the mi um, minerals aren't potent enough to penetrate the rock completely, so it's more of a coating. And when those chipped off, you can just see like, the backing of it. Uh, now you guys are free to roam around. You're right. off leash for a bit. Um, main rules is don't take anything, don't leave anything, and don't cross the ropes. We take pictures. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't physically take it. No, no. Um, I recommend using the lights. You can tilt it down to guide your way a little bit further. And if you need to hold on to the ropes when you're walking, that's completely fine. Pro tip is if someone's taking a picture of you, turn off your light. Otherwise, you'll just look like the Pixar lamp in every picture. <laughs> Um, if anyone needs help with the lights, then I can do that. So otherwise, just stay within the ropes and listen out for group three. I will call when it's time to head back up. Huh? All right, back on.
Oh, it's very foggy now. Holy cow. Yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I forgot oh, about yeah, the soup. The soup. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 